Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting Mortem Eternal Solitude. Wow. First off, thank you to Mortem for supporting A Cursed Womb and for being fucking absolutely crushing, murky, atmospheric, and just everything you could possibly want from a Death Doom Metal demo and recorded by Ethan Camp right there. To me, that's a stamp of approval. James at Transylvanian Recordings is putting this out officially. This is the band's DIY self-released version. I can't get enough of this. Seriously, it's fucking sick and how many times can you say fucking sick it's fucking sick it's very remnant of cavern spectral voice mortiferum not really altar of decay but more of the full length it's awesome yeah i would also say like the first abhorrent seven inch which is a very big influence on everybody. And same with Ripakalu. Just very, very murky and at the same time fucking... And I, I really don't like this term, but the vocals are super cavernous and in the best way possible. And also, there's your obvious incantation influence but it's done so fucking well these seven tracks are just dismal slow awesome slabs of just death doom sonic goodness it's like eating a good hoagie I'm sure some of you don't know what a hoagie is I don't know. You might call it a hero, or you might call it a submarine sandwich. It's a fucking hoagie. I'm sorry. But this is like eating a good hoagie. Like, sure, there's a lot of good, you know, sandwich shops and whatnot, but like, this is, you know, like finding a hidden sandwich shop that has the best hoagies in the Philadelphia area, although this band hails from the opposite end of the country. You get what I'm trying to say here. Mortem are one of those bands that just kind of snuck up out of nowhere and just went, you're gonna listen to us and you're gonna fucking like it because we play Death Doom Metal in 2020 better than almost everyone. Like, so far, when it comes to Death Doom releases in 2020, yeah, this is, like, amazing. It, I can't get enough of fucking how awesome this is. And the DIY limited dubbed version of this right here, it's so cool, like, how much... Because like, I was talking to... The guitarist of A Cursed Womb today, PH, and uh, we were talking about how we're going to release physical copies of our material, and we came up with this idea that hopefully comes to, you know, hopefully this happens. But right now, it's just an idea, and we're trying our best to get our material out to you ladies and gentlemen physically as quickly as possible but, but we want it to be like something as official when it comes to a DIY release like Mortem has done here with Eternal Solitude. This is just so well done cosmetically. Everything about it, it's just fucking Dialed. I, I really love the logo as well. Just super fucking cool. I can't wait to drop our logo on you maniacs. But 
I really, really dig what these folks have done here and, you know, all the artwork, everybody involved with this project, it's just fucking on the money. Recorded September 26th, so this was recorded, oh fuck, I keep thinking that the world didn't shit the bed till last year, but yeah, September, you know, so this was recorded September 26, 2020 in the new world we all live in now by Ethan Camp at the Cavern of Sorrow. Mixed by Ethan Camp, and I love Ethan's work. If you've never heard an Ethan Camp demo, here's a personal favorite of mine. The Grinding Terror demo by Caustic Wound. And here's another. Fetid, sentient pile of anamorphous rot. And I'm pretty sure Ethan also did Mortiferum's Altar of Decay. But I like how they put all these different promo photos. And then the lyrics inside. The addition of adding your lyrics to your demo is fucking cool because it shows that your lyrics actually matter. Like, there's something about a cursed womb that a lot of you don't know, but you will know once physical copies are available. But I'm gonna shut up about that because this video is about Mortem and Eternal Solitude. Now, next to Worm Gloom Lord, this is probably, you know, some of my favorite Doom of 2020. Now, I didn't get the Extremely Rotten Productions version of the Spectral Voice Comp on vinyl. I did get the Spectral Voice Comp on vinyl the USA way and the Extremely Rotten cassette version. I did not know at the time that the B-side of the European LP 7-inch, the American version does not come with a bonus 7-inch that has infathomable winds on it, I think, and then a new track. I was told by somebody that got a copy that it was a new track or something. I forget, but... I was kind of like, wow, oh, man, that, that, that's kind of a bummer that the American version didn't come with the 7-inch. But I have almost all the 7-inches except for the Frenolith one, so I really have been trying to get my hands on that for a couple years now. Like, Peeled Veins is one of my favorite Spectral Voice songs. It's one of their fastest as well. And... I just always really, really liked that song, and I never thought it was going to sell out, honestly. Like, I underestimated the power of Frenolith and Spectral Voice at the time. I remember being like, ah, I'll grab it later. There, You should know, there is no later when it comes to a release like that. But I figured, like, oh, they'll repress it, you know, it's an obvious seller but I missed out on it. So when I saw that the cassette version of the Spectral Voice Necrotic Demos comp has, you know, everything on one cassette, I was just like, that's the definitive version. Not knowing that the ERP 12 inch came with a bonus seven inch that doesn't just have one song on it it has two so i was like oh man like i should have just grabbed the fucking european version and the european cassette and just got two birds stoned at once but that's life but as you can hear behind me mortem is just churning out the goods 
This is so good. Like, seriously. Seven tracks of just death, doom, metal. Yes, it's cavernous. For lack of a better word, it's just everything that you could possibly want from, like, a Death Doom release. It reminds me a lot, honestly, of the Mortiferum promo tape for the new material, which I'm pretty sure Ethan, yep, recording, mixing, and the synthesizer was used by Ethan Camp on the 2019 Mortiferum promo. This has a very similar, like, vibe to it. And that vibe is darkness. And I mean that in the best way fucking possible. But track number one, Petrified. Track number two, Shackled. Track number three, Tortured. Track number four, Anguish. Track number five, Scapism. Sorry. Track number six, Abandoned. And track number seven, Entombed. Enlightenment, Enlightenment of Death. So, you get seven tracks of just this. Total Death Doom Mastery. Mortem. And I can't wait to hear, like, the official Transylvania Recordings version of this bad boy. Like, it sounds great on the dubbed version, but, like, I can't wait to hear what everything sounds like proper. But it's fucking sick. If you can get a copy of this right now, do it. Otherwise, pre-order from Transylvania Tapes if it's still available. It's so fucking worth it. Here at last, please for death forever abated, eternally released from the isolating deathly pain, entombed by the beauty of eternal solitude, enlightened by death. Just grade A death doom metal here. And some of the artwork used, the front cover is by Necromold. Check that out real quick. It's fucking awesome. The logo is by Charlie Ennis. Which, I, like I was saying, I really love their logo. Mortem. And the back cover is by Deathbait. Which I'm guessing is this absolutely amazing fucking moldering cavernous skull of awesome. Wow. Please put this on a t-shirt. Seriously. If anyone from Mordom is watching, put this on a t-shirt. It's so fucking rad. Like, that, oh my goodness. That with that on top. Oh, so good. And you guys are killing it. Seriously, killing it. Let's do a split together. <laughs> Seriously. I, I would love to do a split with this band. It's like a match made in hell, pretty much. But you have Kian Abdulson on... Tumultuous poundings and subterranean blasts. Perpetual pulsing from the abyss. Dan Rot on abhorrent deprivation and repulsive alglamation of rubble. Roaring echoes from the void. Awesome. Max Hoffman. Desolate walls of desperation and horror. Departures from reality. Dude, these guys are on top of it. Fuck yeah. And then, Dane Mansfield 
on rhythm guitar. I guess Dane didn't want some badass, you know, fictional instrument to play, but I can't get over how good this is. Like, I I've been just completely... As soon as I first heard this digitally, I was like, yo, this is badass, and having a physical copy, it's like, oh my goodness, I, I can't believe how good this is, and I know it sounds like I'm kissing ass, but I I'm not, like, this really, really is probably one of the best demos of the year, like, yeah, it's lacking buzzwords, it doesn't come with a VHS case, it's just straightforward death doom metal, done right. Not only did Mortem do their fucking homework, but they got an A plus on their homework. And my mom said there's no such thing as an A plus. She's an English teacher, she says, there's always some flaw. Like, that could be a misplaced period. Like, maybe you put an extra E by accident on something. I feel this is a little bit the opposite. I feel like this is legit that 101% that you would see that little suck up in class get. But, like, it's not like that. It's just like they checked off every mark when it came to dismal, slow, death metal, and added those doomy elements a la Anatomia, but took it the complete other direction, and made something that's very easy to get lost in, and that's what I feel, you know, Mortem does the best here, aside from being devastatingly heavy. You get lost in riffs like this, and... put this out as a little prelude to the official release through extreme uh, through Transylvanian recordings I'm sorry I almost said extremely rotten productions but this is just such a killer DIY release and I'm stoked that the official release is going to be on Transylvanian Recordings. And, you know, if it's not sold out, get a copy. Like, for real. Mortem Eternal Solitude. Transylvanian Recordings. And limited edition DIY self-released cassette version. It's fucking sick. It sounds awesome, I think. And Ethan Camp, awesome job. Awesome job to the Mortem guys. If you're a fan of Spectral Voice, Mortiferum, Cavern, Abhorrence, their Gothin, Worm, you're gonna find something to like about Mortem Eternal Solitude. Definitely. I fucking love this. Like, thank you so much to Mortem and Eternal fucking Hails. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Check out Transylvanian Recordings. Links will be in the video description. And if this is still available, get a copy. 
because you will not, will not be disappointed. Thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hoos.